In this episode of The Joy of Editing with Dave Cully, discover a simplified method for eliminating the unwanted light and dark halos that can appear while editing images in Photoshop. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Cully. You know, we all get those pesky halos that crop up from time to time while we're working in Photoshop editing our images. Halos can be caused by several factors, such as oversharpening or excessive editing in Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw, or by working with selections in Photoshop. There's many potential reasons for their appearance. I'll show you a straightforward technique for eliminating halos using the Clone Stamp tool in today's tutorial. We'll explore the use of two distinct blend modes to effectively remove them. Different blend modes are needed for light and dark halos. I'll show you the appropriate technique for removing each type. Let's get started. I'll be working on this stock image today. Now this image will have some halos. I'm gonna zoom into it. But a lot of times, you know, we don't see these halos till maybe after we're done editing. Now I did show you a recent tutorial on my TK Friday showing you how to eliminate halos from over sharpening if you catch them right away. And that involves edge masking utilizing the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. I'll link that video at the end of this video in case you haven't seen it or you just wanna check it out again. But this tutorial is gonna cover if you don't catch those halos right away and you notice them later. Now what do you do to get rid of them? Now just to give you a bit of a background, I went ahead and duplicated the background layer now the background layer has the halos and the reason I did this so I can show you a before and after. And again, this is an example if you didn't notice the halos beforehand. And now you zoom into your image, you wanna make a print out of this and you notice, oh my goodness, look at these halos. What am I gonna do? I spent all that time editing. Now this technique is used where you actually paint on the actual pixel layer itself. It only works if you paint on the pixel layer. Usually when I'm working with a clone stamp tool, I like to get a blank pixel layer. You can click this button right here, it puts a blank pixel layer. And if you're using the clone stamp tool, and by the way, the shortcut for the clone stamp tool is S, what you would want to do would be to come up here to sample and you could set this to current and below or all layers this way you're gonna be working on the blank pixel layer. You're not gonna actually be working on pixels. But this method will not work that way. You must be painting on the actual pixel layer itself. I'll leave this blank pixel layer here just to demonstrate that. But first I wanna show you how this technique works. And it's very easy to do, but a little time consuming because you gotta clone those light or dark pixels away. Right now this blank pixel layer is selected. I don't wanna work in that one. We'll get back to that in a little bit. But let's go on the layer right here, layer one, which is a duplicate of the background layer. So I can show you before and after, but we're gonna start out by removing some of these light halos first, and then we'll move to dark. Now the first thing we need to do is get our clone stamp tool. Now remember, S is the shortcut to get your clone stamp tool. You're gonna come up to the blend mode of the tool, which is right here, not the blend mode of the layer, but of the tool. You're gonna change this blend mode. Click on the drop down menu. And when you wanna remove light halos, you're going to use darker color. When you wanna remove dark halos, you're gonna use lighter color. So these are the two blend modes, darker color for light halos and lighter color for dark halos. So we'll click on darker color. Here's what you need to do for sample. Click the drop down and make sure you're set to you could be to current and below or current layer. I generally just go to current layer. Now, as far as the brush size goes, adjust it so it's just a little bit larger than the halo itself. And then you need to sample outside of the edge, but very close to it because you wanna get a color outside the edge. Now remember, we're in the darker color blend mode. So if I option on a Mac, alt click on a PC, sample that area, and now when I paint over the light areas, it's only gonna target lighter areas that are lighter than the sampled area, and you simply just paint over all those areas. I'm not gonna paint over the entire image, but we'll paint over a good bit of it, at least down this right side of this mountain here. So we'll just continue to paint, but you see how easy those light areas are just coming off. Now I keep resampling areas, and I can't stress that enough, make sure you definitely option or alt click and resample. So you'll get a much better job when you do that. 
and we even get up here. But remember, stay close to the edge where you're cloning, and this way you won't have any issues or any problems, so just like that. And that's all there is to removing light halos in Photoshop with the clone stamp tool in the darker color blend mode. Let's check out the before and after. Now remember, I removed the light halo from here down to here. Here is the before halo removal, and here is the after. But you see the beautiful job it does. Now, of course, you would have to do that over the entire edge of your image. It takes a little bit of time, but it's very easy to do, and it is really worthwhile, especially if you want to make a nice big print out of an image, and you got these pesky halos. Now, for the dark halos, let me type S to get my clone stamp tool. Just change the mode from darker color to lighter color. Now just sample an area close to the dark edge. Option or alt click, depending if you're in a Mac and a PC. And then all you need to do is start painting along that edge and it's only going to eliminate the darker halo. See how I can just paint along and just remove those halos. Now again, you wanna resample from different points. It's a little more challenging sometimes in darker halos because you got these textures in here, but you know, stay close. Like here, I can come here and just come down through here. Maybe go here and get along here, but just decide where you want to get it from. Something that will match fairly well as you're working your way down through. Now, you may not have to get them all, but just the ones that are really sticking out like, as we say, a sore thumb. And I'll just keep painting here. But again, you'd have to do this over the entire image. Maybe here, I'll just come like this and up here. And I'll just finally finish off this little section and now we'll see a before and after. Now remember, I got rid of halos from this point down to here. So here is the before and now here is the after. Now let me show you why we can't use a blank pixel layer when we're using darker color and lighter color. So let me shut off the layer I just corrected, this area right in here. Let's click on the blank pixel layer and turn it on. Now let me get my clone stamp tool again. I'm gonna type S, the shortcut for the clone stamp tool. My brush is sized accordingly, it's the right size. Right now I'm on a current layer. That won't work because this is a blank pixel layer and there's nothing on it to sample. So let's choose all layers and that way it's gonna take all layers into effect. If I hold the Option or Alt key down, let's get rid of the light halos first. I'm in the darker color blend mode, so that'll get rid of light halos. If I Option or Alt click here, watch what happens. It's gonna paint and eat into that entire side of the mountain, so that won't work. And if I go with uh, lighter color and sample on the left side of the mountain to get rid of darker halos, if I Option or Alt click to sample an area close by, See, it's gonna paint out into the sky, so that's not gonna work. So therefore, don't use a blank pixel layer because it will not work. So let me go ahead and just delete this layer. Let's take a look at the before and after one more time. Now remember, this is the area from here to here. This is the before and this is the after, but it does a great job. Now it's a little time consuming because you gotta get rid of all your halos but it's well worth the effort. But as you can see, it's very easy to do. Well, there it is, everyone. Now you know how to remove dark and light halos from edges in Photoshop. If you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I wanna thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see you all right here next time, but until then, happy editing.